previously on Quinn's Coins. We have two boxes of pennies right there. Whoa. And look at that. They have coins on the top. Look at these rolls, though. Yeah, these are old looking these rolls. Cool. Falling apart yeah. and everything. Whoa. All right, so that's in my hand right here. Uh huh. Look at this. Oh, that's like what? 1909. And this time. Whoa! Are you kidding me? Are you serious right now? So this is what Kevin just pulled out. Let's see what we got here. Oh, oh my what? gosh. And now back to where we left off. Oh, hey, we got an older one right here. All right. Let's take a look. I think this is actually similar to one that you found a little bit earlier. So let's zoom in on that, make sure we can get a nice close up. Yeah, it's a little bit nicer than yours, not to brag or anything. 1923. Yeah, it definitely is. And uh, no mint mark, but a really nice condition coin, especially for that age. Almost 100 years old on that one. I have found the 23S before, that's a key date. Uh, and uh, hopefully we can get one out of here. The 23 seems to show up more than you would expect. So happy to see that one come out. Nice old 1920s wheat penny. All right guys, so miraculously, I just opened my first roll that didn't have a single wheat penny in it. All of them were memorial scents. On the contrast though, Kevin over here said that he's been having a phenomenal roll. Yep, so this roll I got uh, five just regular 50s and 40s wheat pennies there. But yep. I did flip one wheat penny over and it was a really early date. And then I saw three more that had really old uh, appearing reverses. Yeah. We saw earlier, uh, they might be deceiving, but I don't think these ones are gonna be. So oh, here's the... you would have said that about the last yeah, one. Yeah, that's though. true. All so right. here's the first one. Let's see what we got here. Ooh. Yep, see, there we go. Hopefully that's 29. Good sign to see. So 29 in that one. So multiple 23s, multiple 29s so far. Let's see what we got here. Whoa, 26. 26, all right. Yeah, take that, not a bad looking coin. Look how old this one looks. Yeah, hoping for a mint mark here as well. Ooh, 1920. Oh, 1920, all yep. right. So all 320s so far. I have I the think... same roll too. Look at this one. Look how thick the rims are. That's what you like to see. Oh, what is that? Whoa, is that a 20? Oh, it's not it's a 23. It's a 23. I don't see a mint mark though. Yeah. I looked real hard for one too. I thought it was going to be a 22, no D. Oh man. That would have been. <laughs> That would have oh been a money gosh. coin. So four 1920s coins in the same roll. Unbelievable. That is awesome. And at the same time, I'm getting zero wheat pennies on my roll. Yeah. All right, man, we are not even halfway through, guys. We got lots to go. Let's keep getting into these and see what else we can find. Dude, what is that? What? You see that? Whoa. <laughs> All right, we got to take a look at this one. It's a wee, right? I think so. So we got this crazy looking coin right here. It's definitely... Uh, older. I think it's a wee penny for sure. It's super corroded. Let's take a look at what this is going to be. I don't know if we're going to be able to get a date off, but there's a 41 weedy right next to it. So there you have it. There is the nicely corroded wheat scent. Let's go ahead and flip this one over, see what we have for a date on it, if we can get it. In three, two, one. Jeez. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's going to be tough. I don't know if we're going to be able to get that date off of there. Let me know down in the comments below if you see the 1914D like I yeah. do. And uh, we'll have a you know a couple hundred dollar coin right there. <laughs> All right, that's, uh, I don't know if, how we're gonna count that. Probably as five points. I think that's what we usually do when we can't figure out uh, what a wheat penny is gonna be. As you can see, tons and tons of wheats in this roll as always. Kevin's gonna try and figure that out over there. Can't. Yeah, it's, it's tough. So probably gonna just be a five point coin. What do we have here, Kevin? Just a 20, it's 29. <laughs> Just a 20s. That's no big deal. All right, we'll get on to the next one see what else we can get. Ooh, we got an older one right here. Well, yeah, let's take a look. Here we have another wheat penny from the teens. I saw this one. I wasn't sure if it was going to be older. It oh, did nice. turn out being older, though. It's a 1919. Also pretty heavily corroded. A little bit redder than you're used to seeing uh, with a wheat penny. Let's try and get a closer look. A little bit better lighting here. 1919. Over 100 years old. Really nice to see another nice old coin come out of the roll. And especially coming from behind, I'm currently uh, sitting a little bit far behind Kevin right now. I think probably because of all those 20s he found earlier yep. in that last roll. He is at 584 and I am at 540. So it's nice to have some of those come out for us. Whoa. Oh, okay. What do you got over here? Guys, this is something I would have never expected to come out of this box. Yeah, that's not copper, is it? It's not. It's it's 
two years away from the weightiest state that was ever found in this box. Right. Not only that, it's a proof. Yeah. So, look at that. That's crazy. 1985 San Francisco. Really nice looking shiny proof right there. What the heck is this coin doing in this box? That is an absolute beaut. Really couldn't miss that. Yeah, for sure. But uh, yeah, definitely not um, what you would expect. So yeah, Kind of, uh, don't really know what to say here, but yeah, I'll take it for sure. Yeah, and we do count those on our list. You see right here, proof. Right, yeah. We've gotten just about every single thing to come out that could come out. That's a 10 point coin for you, so nice work. Look at this one. This one's cleaned to eight. Oh, yeah. As heck. <laughs> I don't know what I was about to say. Let's see this. That is definitely acid cleaned. No reason to clean a coin like that. Let's flip this over see what we have for a date. 1947 on that cleaned coin. That hmm. is just going to be a five point coin for us. Not sure why. Yeah, that interesting. It's clean. the first clean coin to come out of here. Yeah. I've seen. There's a nice weedy right there. Oh, that's a little bit older. Let's take a look. It's actually a 30s, so 10 point mm -hmm. coin. 1935. Actually, quite a few of the mid 30s to come out uh, so far, so it's not a huge surprise to see those anymore. Another 39 to pop out for me. Whoa, what is this? What do you have? So I think that was on camera there. Zoom in a little bit here and focus. Oh, so what do you got? That's a 1919 from what I can tell, but look at how corroded it is. And yeah. I think, wow, that reversed. Yeah. Uh, I believe there is a mint mark. Um, oh, is there really? Pull it down a tiny well, bit. Yeah, that looks like a San Francisco, I'd say. It's gonna be tough to tell, even if there is one. I think it's an S. Think so? Yeah, I do. Yeah, definitely looks like an S to me. Checking for 1919 Shouldn't S. Shouldn't be any. No. No, 19s are pretty common, yeah. but still. Oh, that's cool though, that's another awesome. mint mark. second teens coin for me. I don't think I've gotten any mint marks on those older coins yeah. yet, so that is definitely nice to see on your end over there. Yeah, there we go, There's something a little bit older here just popped out. Coming in at a 1930. Let's take a look. Oh, 1930 nice. 1930 Philadelphia, not a bad looking coin. Take that all day, another 10 points on the board. All right, right behind that 30. Let me just get through the rest of this roll really quick. Yep, nothing else. So right behind that 30, another 10 years older, coming in at 19. Whoa. Oh, there's an S on that too. Yeah. I didn't even see that. 1920, 20 San Francisco. So look at that. That's not one that I yeah, I'm not see. Too I've seen the 1919 that we saw that come out earlier. 1919 S. But look at that, dude. Low mintage Lincoln cents and 1920s really? does make the cut as well as the 1920 Denver. Awesome. That is another low mintage coin for you, Kevin. I think you are pulling away with the lead on this one. Hey, I got a nice older one right here. Let's see what uh, we got. Oh, wrong way once again. Still figuring this camera out. 1928 is the year on mine. Definitely a nice looking coin, especially for that age. Getting towards that 100 year. Uh, mark 1928 would really like to see a mint mark on it, but uh, yeah. still happy with it Just pulled something myself not quite as old, but something we haven't seen yet in this box in 1935 Philadelphia. Well, I've seen quite a few 30. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. I well, get them all the time. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, that's that's cool though still early 40 or yeah. you know pre 40s But yeah Oh, dude, I just grabbed oh man. I was too zoomed in. Whoa to even get this to show up on camera. But uh, here, let's just pull this off here. I'm gonna show you guys. This just came out of the roll. See it right there? Look at that, Kevin. Clear as day, 1919 Jeez. San Francisco. We already established that that is not uh, going to be a low mintage coin or anything, but it is nice to see a nice old coin with a mint mark, 1919 San Francisco. Very cool. So Kevin, I know you had that roll with all of the 20s in it. I just got that 1919 San Francisco out, uh, and then right next to it, I was able to pull a 36, another uh, pre-40s coin, and then right there, look at that. That's actually a really nice wood air, wood grain yeah. air on that 1929. A date that we've seen many times in this box, but definitely not like this. That is very, very cool. An incorrect mixing of the alloys is what creates something like that. And you only see them in the earlier uh, Lincoln scents, I believe. So we'll just check these uh, other ones out here to see if we can get anything on the remaining wheat pennies in that roll. It looks like we're not. Definitely a great roll for me. I think that's probably just about gonna tie us up. We'll have to point uh, to score these 
uh, rolls in just a second here to see where we are at. All right, I just grabbed this wheat penny right here. I think we may have an older one. That's pretty slick looking. So let's flip this one over, see what we're gonna get. Oh, wow. nice. That's the oldest uh, next to that, 1909 anyway. 1913, guys, look at that. I was gonna say, look how thick those rims are in the reverse. Yeah. That's what I'm always looking for. Yeah, that definitely had that older look to it. That is awesome, 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 awesome. All right, so I'm catching up to Kevin right now. He got a few rolls ahead of me somehow. Yep, taking a little break here. Yeah, so I am uh, just gonna be pulling out some wheat pennies. We're gonna be counting the score up in just a minute here. Just finish with that roll. I think I'm gonna do one more and then we'll count the score. We got something over here. Let me pull this off here. I don't know what this is gonna be. That doesn't look American. Ooh, looks interesting. Let's take a look here. Three, two, one. Okay. What is that? That's foreign to me. That's not Canadian. I thought it might be. 1916. 1916, five cent. Looks like it must be from Belgium. Or Bel I don't know. Maybe I am completely reading that wrong. Five cent. I don't even want to try that. Belgium. That sounds like Belgium right. to me. Right, yeah. We'll have to look into that one. It's actually penny shaped for the first time. <laughs> um, really cool to see that old foreign come out. I don't know what kind of metal this is. It's very light. That's kind of got a gray look to it. So I was thinking, oh, maybe this is going to be a steel scent. But very cool. I'm going to have to uh, look that up and put some information on the screen so you guys can kind of figure that one out mm -hmm. as well. All right, anything else interesting in this roll? We'll yeah, have to see. Pull that really quick, 36. Oh, 36, all right, that's another 10 point coin right there. Put that to the side, and we'll look through the rest of this roll, see what else we can get. Oh, I was 100 off, that's what it was. You were 100 off? Yeah. You want me to add 100 to your score? That's for no reason. No. <laughs> it's, it's 864. So you want me to dump a bunch of points just out of nowhere? Yeah. Unbelievable. Whoa. What? Look at that. Whoa. Guys, I got something really cool here. Yeah, let's zoom in on that, man. That's awesome. It's not only is this a 1934 wheat cent. Wow, look at how lustrous that is. It's a full yeah. cartwheel. Guys, this is like- Full cartwheel. I mean, I don't, I don't want to say uh, mint state, but it sure is looking mint state. Maybe, wow, maybe a high, high AU. That's better than the 56 I found earlier. I mean, usually when we find them like this, they're, you know, 56, 57, or 58. Yeah, yeah. We've never found one this early looking no. this nice. 1934. Man, that is awesome. Gonna have to put that one in a flip right oh, away. That's a great looking coin. Yeah, for sure. Man, you've been finding some of the best ones. For sure. And uh, we just updated the score. It turns out, you know, we are even now. Kevin's actually taking this one away. He's at 864, and I am at 822. So still close. We're both, you know, within the same hundreds. But we have, it looks like, five more rolls to go after this one. Kevin just got that really nice 1934. Yeah. And uh, plenty more to look through. I think I may have an older one right here. I just pulled this right here. Let's take a look. Man, that definitely looks older. What do you think? Uh, yeah, I'd say so. Probably teens. Let's go ahead and flip it's it over. 1915. Three, two, and one. Key date. 28. No, wow. 28. Huh. <laughs> Interesting. Not as old as I thought it would be and no mint mark, but still a 10 point coin, so I will take it. All right, guys, I just got into the next roll and I think I have another older looking coin right here. Pretty similar to the last one. Let's flip this one over. Hopefully we got a, a teens weedy with a mint mark. Three, two, one. Ooh, we definitely have a teens weedy. 17, all right. 1917 in very rough shape. Uh, I do not see a mint mark on that though. Let me know down in the comments below if you are seeing one, but I do not. So that is gonna be a fairly common coin, um, but in that age range, we're gonna be looking at a 10 point coin right there. So that is awesome. Out of that same roll, we just pulled this one out. And uh, the last one I thought had like a cud, like a little conglomeration of metal. I'm kind of seeing that down there on the date end, unless that's just damage. Yeah, yeah it's, it's probably just damage. damage. It does look to be slightly off center. Yeah, that is a 1920, still fairly common, no mint mark on that, but nice to have an older one. And that's in pretty rough shape as well. But hey, another 10 point coin, tons oh, wow. of wheats in this roll as well. What do you got, oh, Kevin? Man. Every time you see this coin, and we've seen this coin a lot today. Whoa, what is that yeah, stuff on sure the side of it? Is. Here, bring it down just a tiny bit. Um. That's mm. gotta be post mint. I don't see how that could be a mint error. 
But uh, yeah. as I was saying, every time we see this coin, I think it's a 22 no D. <laughs> but uh, I mean, I'm not gonna say it unfortunately, but I mean, it is a 23, so it's a great looking coin. So this one's looking kind of older. We're just gonna flip it on camera just in case. Huh. 20, oh really man. Really nice looking there. That could have been a 24 D. Yeah. Which would have been a really good date, but uh, I haven't had any Denver's yet. 24. Anything. That's a great looking coin for a 24. This is a really weird looking wheat that I just pulled out of fourth to last roll. Kind of looks like it's been in a fire or something. Let's flip this one over to see what we have for a date. Yeah, that's definitely an older Jeez. one. 1918. Yeah. It's a little bit beat up on the front. Not really in great shape. I'm not seeing a mint mark though. Uh, so 1918 is another 10 point coin for us. Let's get into the rest of this roll and see what else we can get. All right, guys, we are down to our last two rolls each from this box, and the score is super tight. <laughs> it's crazy, we just hit a 1,000 points each. I am currently at 1,002, and Kevin is at 1,029. He's ahead by 27 points. That's easily make upable if I find a whole bunch of 10s, 20s, 30s, something like that. Super easy. So it's really anyone's game at this point. It's unbelievable because you found so many key date, or not key date, but low mintage coins. You've got three of them so far, and I have zero. I think it's just the numbers has been really on my side in this hunt so far. So we just have two rolls each left to go, and we're gonna be opening them up here live for you to see. Uh, how this competition ends up for us. So right off the bat guys, my roll is not looking good. I'm seeing just a ton of memorials, not really seeing any wheat pennies at all. Kevin, how's it looking over there for you? I'm seeing a few wheats poking out. You know, it's funny because in these last few rolls, we're usually looking for like one wheat to like tie right. the score or like right. get someone over to someone else's score. This is super funny because we're probably gonna be pulling out like four or five wheats out of this last roll, like yeah. every other roll. I so. wouldn't speak so soon. I think I just got my third roll in the entire thing where there's literally no wheat pennies. Whoa! So that is not looking good. Are you kidding me? Are you serious right now? The second to last roll. Oh my gosh, dude. An Indian head? And those are worth like 100 points. You're definitely gonna be pulling away with this one. <laughs> I could have used those that. Those are 100 points coins? Yes, it's 100 points. And I could have definitely used, oh no, sorry. Indian heads are 50 okay. points. I was thinking flying eagles are 100. Indian heads are gonna be worth 50 points. That would have been really nice for me to have. Guys, this was, to okay, you probably can't really see any cameras. Yeah, let, me, right let, me, let me bring that in for you. So this is what Kevin just pulled out. We thought we might have one in this box, and miraculously it pulled out for us right now. I mean, the honestly, end. I was kind of surprised that we have gotten this far without pulling one out. Well, you know, he said that there may be Indians in here. He never saw one in the yeah, past. Yeah, really? Okay. The oldest he was able to find was 1910. We just got a 1909 oh. earlier in the box, and now we have an Indian head That's penny. That's a great looking coin, Staring too. us back, so. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, 1904, right. so I was kind of expecting it to be in the 1900s, but still, that is a fantastic looking coin. No problems at all, nice even yeah. circulation. That's a wonderful coin. Guys, I think that's the second Indian I've ever pulled out of a box. Yeah, and this and is it, no ordinary box. Right. So. It definitely doesn't surprise me to be coming out of here, but that is that is fantastic. Really good I mean, coin. I'm, I'm pretty shocked. I'm yeah. on it, to be honest with you. I never would have thought to actually have that come out, just because he said the soonest that he had seen was 1910. Right. And uh, he's looked through quite a few of these boxes already, so yeah, to have an Indian head come out is really, really cool. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not getting anything on my roll. There's a 55, let's check for the double die. Not seeing it, not gonna be a millionaire tonight. <laughs> unfortunately. Okay, here's an interesting, I think I'm pulling ahead of here, Ryan. Yeah, you definitely 1935. are. I mean, I literally there. got zero on that last roll, so unless I get an Indian head and, and a whole bunch more on this one, <laughs> I'm not really sure, so I'm gonna be opening mine now. Kevin, you still have quite a few to get through. Oh, dude, what is that? What? That lo it looks okay, like it's a wheat. wheat. It is a wheat. There's actually a lot of wheats in this one, so that's good news for me. Definitely that looks an old. older looking wheat, though. That Take a look. has to be. So I'm thinking definitely teens. If we can get a key date here, it might be difficult to tell if there's a mint mark. Sometimes when you get them in this condition, those mint marks are pretty slick. So hopefully we have something here. Let's take a look, guys. Three, two, one. Ah, it is older. It's a 1917. It's one that we found before. Unfortunately, just going to be worth 10 points for us. I'm not sure if that's going to cut it as far as this competition is concerned. Let's uh, go kind of dial it back there. I've got a couple Wheaties right here, which is definitely going to help. Here's another one right there. They're all 50s, though, common stuff. I've got four 1950s wheat pennies. Um, nothing too crazy yet, though. I really could use 
Something Indian. like Kevin got out of that last Indian. roll. <laughs> Alright, cracking into my last roll here. Let's hope yeah. for another Indian. Maybe a flying eagle. Yeah, come on. <laughs> tons Man, of wheats. I, I am seeing tons of wheats out of yours already, so that's that's great. Alright, let's get into it. Got another wheat for me right there. It's just another common 50s though. And I think this is going to be my last week, guys. Let's flip it over. 1942 is the date on that one. All common. Mm -hmm. That is not going to catch up to your Indian head, unfortunately. Oops. 52 San Francisco. I have not seen. Let's pull it back a little tiny yeah. bit there. Here, I'm zooming for you. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, 52 San Francisco. I have not seen too many estimate marks come out of this box. So that's a, that's a cool point to see. Let's see what else we've got. That kind of looked like a uh, steel set there. Yeah, really nice. Weird toning. 51. Another 51S. All right, I'll take that, I guess. Oh my gosh. Uh, 55, let's see if we got the double in. So my last roll had six wheat pennies in it, all common. That's 30 more points, and there's no way that that's going to be enough to catch up to Kevin, unfortunately. Oh, no. If that was all there was, if Kevin didn't find anything, <laughs> I would have won. My final score was right? 1,032, and you're at 1,029 without. Oh, actually, you know what? That is not my final score. I forgot to add that in 1917. So my final score is 1,042. But Kevin's going to be definitely pulling ahead on this one. I think I'm done here. All right, so let's see what, uh, let's tally them up here. Let's see what you were able to get in the end. Really miraculous to see that uh, Indian head penny come out in, one, I guess, the second to last roll. Yeah. There it is next to the larger dis uh, depiction of the Indian head yeah, that's penny. Great. So it looks and like I got uh, 15 common date wheats. Are weeds. you serious? Yeah, Out of the last crazy. two rolls? The last two rolls, I got 15 common date wheats. I got that 139 10 point coin, and of course, I got the IHP on the board. Unbelievable. So I, I think we're going to have to go over some of the highlights in uh, this box. I'll obviously get your uh, final score here. Let's mm -hmm. see, we got 15 there times 5. So that's uh, 75. Oh, yeah, 75. Plus. 10 more, 85, and then a 50 is 135. So 1029 plus 135 is gonna be your final score. We'll go ahead and do that math off camera and I'll get back to you in just a sec. <laughs> All right guys, so here is the final scores on the box. Kevin came out with 1164 on his side and I came out with 1042 on my side for a total box score of 2,206 points. And to put that in perspective, we say 100 points on a regular box is a very good box. This is 22 times a very, very good box. So that is <laughs> unbelievable. Let's take a look at some of the finds on my side. These are all the common wheat pennies over here, all 40s and 50s. We have a whole bunch of interesting finds over here. This wood grain 1929 was one of my favorites. Also that foreign coin that came out, uh, and I'm sure I'll have the information on it by the time we make the video. The 38 Canadian King George VI was very cool to see, as well as that 1956 really nice condition wheat penny right there. We were also able to get a bunch out from the 30s and a couple from the 20s and teens as well. We got a nice little stack of those going on. And now I'm gonna switch it off to Kevin. He's gonna show some of his good finds. So take a look at this. He's definitely got some good ones. All right, so moving over to my finds. So here's my common date wheat pennies. These are also all from the 40s and 50s. Uh, these are stacks of five, so you can you can do the math there. I don't want to add it up on camera. And then coming over here, we got my 1930s. So it looks like we have 10, uh, 13, I want to say. And then over to my 1920s, these are all common dates. Nothing too great in there, but really cool to find that many uh, 20s in a single box. I think we have, um, looks like 11. And then here are my common date 19 teens. That really nice 1918 and then that really corroded, but still a decent date, uh, 1919 San Francisco. And then we'll jump over here to my better uh, finds. So these are, are the three uh, semi-key dates that we found. This is the 1921S, kind of tough to see the, the mint mark in there, but it's there. And then we have the 1920S, which turns out to be a better date. And then of course we have the 1909 VDB on the reverse. Really cool to pull that coin out. I just set this one aside because it's a extremely worn down 1956 uh, wheat penny. You barely ever see a 56 in that condition. Thought it was cool. A uh, couple foreigns for my half of the box. We got that 1920 farthing from Great Britain. And then we got that five uh, cent coin. I'm not sure if that's the de denomination from Italy. That's a uh, 1941. So really cool coin there. 
A uh, couple of interesting finds, uh, the 85S proof and the steel scent, first steel scent that we've ever found out of a penny box. And then these are probably the two best finds, um, I would say, out of the box. Right, if you want to disagree, you can jump in, but... Yeah, you know what? I'd definitely put the 09 VDB in there. Oh, you would? Yeah, oh, for sure. Yeah, I would agree. So probably, probably three best finds right Probably there. three best finds out of the box here. We have this almost uncirculated 1934 wheat scent, and this thing is fantastic. We just look at the luster in this, it's, it's insane. And then we have, of course, the 09 VDB, and we have what jumped out at the end there, the 1904 Indian head scent really fun coin to find in a roll it's always surprising always a fun find yeah and as you can see all three of the best finds of today's hunt are probably over here on kevin's side um we were definitely close in the score but as far as good finds i think kevin definitely pulled it away he's got some really really cool stuff over here so guys that's the end of box number one that was sent to us from david once again thank you so much to david and his girlfriend for thinking about us and sending us that box this is so cool we have one more to do we're going to be doing a follow-up video and uh, doing that box as well. I'm sure it's gonna be just as good, if not even better. This was definitely one of the most exciting and interesting coin boxes I've ever gone through. Super fun hunt. Uh, I cannot wait to get in the second box, and David, I cannot thank you enough for sending these coins our way. Uh, we really appreciate it, and this has been a ton of fun. Can't wait to get in the second box. With that being said, Kevin, thank you for having a friendly competition. Absolutely. Uh, congratulations on winning this one. You definitely pulled it away in the end there. I had a lot of fun with this one, guys. Make sure to leave a like down below if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're new because I post new videos like this every single week, always bring you along with the hunts and have a good time. And as always, I'm Quinn and this is Quinn's Coin signing out and I will see you in the next one. See you guys.